Hey, Gail the Quick here, and I wanted to show a little demonstration about how the combat in Black Omen RPG hopefully will work. Now, part of the impetus for making the game was to make something like the old Palm Pilot game, Space Trader, but with a more in-depth combat system. So, let's pull that up and see what uh, isn't broken at the moment. So, we have our stand-in ship that... Uh, didn't spawn its modules correctly, but that's okay. So our readouts don't load correctly, but we can actually switch to the enemy ship and see they have 90 health, uh, nine capacitors, eight batteries, and a reactor of two. And then switch back to us on the spyglass, and we have the same. Now we have a variety of modules that we can select. We have weapons, a uh, Phoenix Amor basic blaster, and Phoenix Omar Photonic Torpedo System. We also have defenses. We have the Defendo Max Buckler at the moment. A few different modules, including the hull. That's because I'm counting the base hull of the ship as a module as well, and I'll get into the math behind that perhaps at a later date. Uh, no cargo. Well, we do have textiles and tents as our cargo. And for communications, we can offer surrender, or offer surrender, demand surrender, or get a perfect flea. Uh, that'll break at the moment because that takes you back to the game. And of course, I started this kind of in a debug mode. So let's go back. So the way combat is supposed to work is it is a simultaneous turn uh, type of combat. You both in queue your modules. So yeah, Phoenix Omar Basic Blast is at the ready. And if we go back to that, we can see it as E and Q for in Q. And the modules cost a certain amount of energy or no energy. And that comes out of your capacitors, the big red nine there. Uh, every turn, your capacitors are replenished from your batteries and your batteries are replenished from your reactor. So your capacitors are what you can do this turn. Batteries are a bit more of a long-term store, and your reactor is just kind of your slow baseline and all that. And of course, your health and heat, which doesn't do anything at the moment, but the idea is that a buildup of heat will give your crew a cumulative penalty. Anyway, we have our weapon queued up, and we can fire that out there. And we miss. Typical. Well, there's no AI at the moment, and your weapons stay in queued, so I'm going to put that on standby. And if we go back there, yeah, UI isn't perfect. So we can switch over to the pirate cutter over there. And we're going to enqueue both of his weapons right there. And on us, we are actually going to, yeah, spyglass, use our defenses, the Defendo Max Buckler. He's standing by. Now this one takes a lot of power, and I should probably put a little readout about uh, how much everything takes here. That could be useful. But if we do a turn, you see both the shots come in, and one misses, and one hit, and you should have saw the uh, Defendo Max buckler activated there. And the idea is that that is a bit of a active protection system. So the shields in this game are not just like an extra layer of health or an extra evasiveness or chance to dodge the armor. Uh, a member of your crew actually would do a skill check and then try to deflect that. And you'll see our batteries have gone down a bit. Our capacitors have replenished back up to nine. And our reactor, again, is still at two. So we'll go again and see how that affects everything. All right. Looks like they both missed that time. We're trying again. I want to see the capacitors drop down. Yep, yeah, drop down. And then they went right back up to four. And we're running low on batteries. So I don't know how long we're going to be able to keep that up. Another miss, two miss. God, this guy's terrible. I'm trying to die. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Alright, so that one hit, and you see it says Badger on box destroyed. Uh, and our health went down. So now we'll talk about I guess, uh, your health. So your health is actually the sum health of all of your modules, which, yeah, the Badron box is damaged. Uh, but that includes things like your tote, this triton, the hole, all that. Uh, wait, what is... Yeah, this is the reactor, I think. 
defenses as as well as your weapons. They all have health and they all contribute to your pool. And each of the items here, they have a minimum threshold. So say that the uh, Defendo Max Buckler, if it's hit, and that's a little bit random at this time, I want a higher level ability to be to like pick out which module you want to shoot at for a guaranteed critical, something like that. Anyway, so say your Defendo Max Buckler had 10 hit points and it needs to be at 5 to run. So if it drops below 5, then you're not going to be able to use it until one of your crew members or maybe some other ability repairs it and it goes back up above that. And that's a, a metric. It's not always like 510. You could have some really, really finicky model that has 10 hit points and it needs to be at 9 or higher to work. Maybe that's like a really fancy shield or something or a really, a really accurate laser beam, something like that. Or maybe, maybe a sensor system. Actually, that makes sense. Uh, or you can have like your space Kalashnikov that has 10 hit points or 15 hit points and it needs to be at least two <laughs> to, to be running. And then once they get down to zero, I'm, I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to do there. If they destroy, if they fall off, or if they just can't be repaired until you uh, land at a station or something like that. And yeah, you just get down low. And one thing I wanted to avoid with this game was to have it so that you shoot ships and they always blow up. Uh, I know that's fun, but I'm a huge nerd, and I wanted you to be more so offering and demanding surrender uh, to pirates or submitting to police inspection, that type of thing, uh, as opposed to your very over-the-top space explosions, which I'm sure I'll find other ways to get them in there. Uh, yeah. So that is generally the combat system there. The stuff I don't have here... And there'll be other options here, so I'm planning on revamping this into just your generic space encounter system. So you might encounter a friendly trader here, and he's nearby, and you're about to pass each other, but you'd have the calm option to be like, hey, hail them, ask to trade, and then maybe they will, or maybe they're like, no, you look like a pirate, I'm not going to get close to you. Uh, encounters like that. And the one thing I don't have here, as I was having trouble getting it to work, is the range or moving and having your pilot skill come into play. I wanted it so that you could uh, change if you were thrusting to get closer or thrusting to try and flee and get away. Or if you're thrusting and maneuvering to have evasive action, so maybe you're not getting away as quickly as you'd like, but you're less likely to get hit and stuff like that. And burning your engines to go faster maybe would build up some additional heat as well. And then maybe high levels of heat would hurt your crew, like permanently damaging their HP, but crew doesn't have HP at the, the moment. So let's just kind of blow everything up. Now it doesn't uh, have any sort of weight thing, so you can just hit this a bunch of times. <laughs> <laughs> getting hit is actually pushing the ship back. I forgot that. Uh, yeah, so a lot of our stuff is damaged. And I do need to come up with a better way of displaying all that. I like the combat log over here on the left, but I, I obviously need a better way to do that. And having a list of like damaged items or items at risk of being damaged without needing to go into a whole new menu for that could be good. Yeah, crewman 60 and Crewman 20. Fantastic. Modules, ooh, our uh, reactor is damaged. Flea hole ready. Flea hole standby. Yeah, <laughs> because of the way I made it, you can put your things on standby. That's just a, a tote box you glue to the outside of your ship to hold more cargo. Uh, yeah, so that's a rambling kind of basic look at how I'm planning to do combat for uh, Black Omen RPG, my space tradery game built in Godot. Thanks for checking it out. I'm Kale the Quick. Don't die.